Hi everyone. Today in this video, I'm going to show you an extension that you can use when you are creating your RESTful API specification. So this is not a tutorial on what open API specification is, what its components are and how to use it. This assumes that you know how to create it and I will show an extension in VS Code that will make your life easier when you are writing your open API specification. If you're new to the API journey or RESTful API journey or open API specification and you need help, leave a comment below and let us know where you need help and we will create the content that can help you make progress. So without any further ado, let's start the today's video. So first thing we need to do is to go to the extensions panel and search for open API. Once this shows up, it may take a little while. You click the extension that says open API Swagger Editor and you hit install. Now, depending upon the internet speed, this may take a little while, but once it has been installed, uh, in my case, it is still installing, it has installed and a new API related icon will show up. If you click here, there is no open API file that we are using, but the idea is that if you see this here, the extension is installed. Now, in order to see how this works, I have already, let me show you, I have already checked out the open API specification from GitHub. So I will now go to this specification and I will open this in my VS Code. It opened up in a new folder, but that's fine. So here, if I go to the examples folder, depending upon the versions, uh, you will see different examples. So we'll go to version 3.0. And I will click on the first one, which is a JSON based uh, specification. As you can see, this is using open AP 3.0.0. And there's a lot of content going on in here. Now, if you want to really understand how things are going, you just go and click on this API icon. Uh, it is created because we installed the extension just now. And it summarizes or organizes the entire specification into multiple parts. So if I'm anywhere, I can just go here to the general and I, I want to see what information it has. So the section highlights where the info section is defined. If I want to know what paths are defined, I can click on one of those. If I need further information, I can see, okay, so they, it, this path has one HTTP method get. If I click here, I will get that information. So pretty handy, right? Now, the other way to also get a Swagger-based uh, visual UI is uh, if you come here, and you click on this icon. So the entire document, no matter how big it was, has been changed into a nice little UI that you can use. And you may have seen this in the past as well, but this is working 100% on your machine. There's no internet connection that is going on. Now, this is only for the JSON. So let me show you another example. And we'll pick the YAML file in this case. Uh, if I click here again, as you can see, this is a pretty big file. So we'll use both the methods. We'll click on the API first and we see a lot of things going on here. We have two paths. Uh, if I click on the slash pets, there are get API and I can read the description from here. And then there is also a post HTTP method defined on this path. And you can see the request and the response here. You can also see the JSON schema defined here by clicking on these schemas. And uh, we can see that there are three schemas defined one for how the new pet will look like, one how the existing pet will look like. And in a similar manner, you can click on this icon here and you will see the entire information as a Swagger document in front of you. So it's pretty handy to work with. And keep in mind that this extension once installed is working 100% uh, local, nothing is going out. So it's faster to iterate as well. Now, I hope that this was useful, this extension help you in your API writing journey. And if you have any questions or concerns or if you need help in designing the APIs and you're confused where to start, please leave a comment below and let us know so that we can create the content to help uh, make your life easier when you are creating your own APIs. All right, uh, thank you very much for your time today and we'll see you again in another video.